Hi everyone and welcome to Flix Talk. It's Nia. All right, so today's episode is about seven actors, and I'm gonna call this Every Guys. Um, there's three classic actors and three kind of actors. Well, act or four actors that are still around today, still working, still in Hollywood. So, so where I got these this category from is is from this book right here. The hundred greatest stars of all time. <clears throat> so they'll most likely be seeing this book uh, later on. But anyway, <clears throat> so what Entertainment Weekly came up with seven every guys. So the first one is Gregory Peck. The, pick, the book has essential movies of each actor. And their essential Gregory Peck movies are Gentleman's Agreement, 12 O'Clock High, The Gunfighter, To Kill a Mockingbird, for which he won the Oscar, and Old Gringo. I've seen To Kill a Mockingbird and 12 O'Clock High. I have not seen the others, so let me know if they're good and if I should see them. For those who have seen them. <laughs> I personally like of Gregory Peck's the 1962's Cape Fear. I just think it's great. It's a good movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Another Every Guys from Entertainment Weekly is Henry Fonda. Jane's and Peter's daddy. So, they're essential. Henry Fonda is The Grapes of Wrath, The Lady Eve, Twelve Angry Men, Once Upon a Time in the West on Golden Pond for which he won the Oscar shortly before he died. Jane, I believe, uh, accepted the award on his behalf because he was ill, so Anyway, um, I have uh, seen three of the five. I've seen Grapes of Wrath, Twelve Angry Men, and On Golden Pond. Uh, they're all very good movies. So I have to say, Henry Fonda was a great actor. <laughs> Next is Gary Cooper. I've only seen one of his. And it's not even because of him I saw the movie. <laughs> um, so their essential, Entertainment Weekly's essential Gary Cooper are Mr. Deed Goes to Town, Ball of Fire, Sergeant York, for which he won an Oscar, The Pride of the Yankees, and High Noon, another Oscar win. And the only movie I've seen of that, of, the, of all those, is High Noon, and it's because I am a Grace Kelly fan. And I think she won the Oscar for that movie as well. Maybe I'll do a video on her. I don't know. I still have some days to, to assign, so maybe I will. Okay, those are the three classic. Let's get to the four current actors. So, first up of the current, Kevin Costner. <clears throat> so, there are essential Kevin Costner films. The Untouchables. Bull Durham, Field of Dreams, for which I have been to the location where they filmed the movie, where the house and the field are in Iowa. Dancing with Wolves and Tin Cup. <clears throat> he directed Dancing with Wolves, for which he won an Oscar. I also added The Bodyguard, because I thought that could be essential as well. <clears throat> I thought it was a good movie. thinking maybe the soundtrack was better. <laughs> Next up, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. The Entertainment Weekly's essential Tom Hanks. Splash. Big. Punchline. I don't know why that would be essential Tom Hanks, but it is for them. Philadelphia and Forrest Gump. I had a sleepless in Seattle. And you've got mail. Meg Ryan. Um, 
who star. He he won back to back Oscars for Philadelphia and Forrest Gump. The only problem I have with Forrest Gump is that the year it was nominated for Best Picture, for which it won the Oscar. But if you ask me for Best Picture of that year, it should not have been Forrest Gump. The Shawshank Redemption was also nominated that year, and it should have won for Best Picture, because to me, it was just a better film. And I watched it not that long ago, a few weeks ago. <clears throat> so, um, I've seen it before, I saw it in the theater, I just, I own it. Watch it again, it's just, it's just a good movie. And to me, it should have won Best Picture. I, I don't think I'm the only one that thinks so. I'm not saying Forrest Gump isn't good. I mean, it is. It's just, to me, just Shawshank kind of just, it was better. But that was Tom Hanks. Of course, he's done a lot of other stuff since. You've Got Mail, I think, was the most recent one I put on there. But, um, thing about the essential Tom Hanks, I think I, I listed them. Next up is Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas, you know, Kirk Douglas' son. So, Entertainment Weekly's Essential Michael Douglas. Romancing the Stone. Fatal Attraction. The War of the Roses. Basic Instinct. Wall Street, for which he won the Oscar. Um... The movie that I added on there was pretty much like a family affair of the Douglases. Had Kirk Douglas, Michael Douglas, Michael's son Cameron, M Michael's real mom played his mom in the film, who was at one point married to Kirk for, but they were divorced for like 50 years before the movie came out. So, but since she was an actress, he had his both his parents on the set, had his son on the set. It's called It Runs in the Family and had three generations of the Douglases. So I thought that's the only reason why I like that film. <clears throat> so I've seen it once. I need to see it again. I don't own it. I don't think it's that worthy, at least for me. But, um, but it's worth seeing. You know, if you like Michael Douglas and Kirk Douglas, watch that film. You know, he, Cameron did pretty well as, as an actor. And it's also got the Mrs. Douglas. I forgot her name, but Michael's mommy. <laughs> And then we have the final every guy. Okay. Who is it? Who do you think is the current every guy? Fourth current one. Harrison Ford. Their essential Harrison Ford movies are Star Wars, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Witness, Mosquito Coast, and The Fugitive. I added two more. I added Air Force One and Working Girl, because they're both good. And Air Force One, since I worked in the movie theater, I, it literally stayed in the theater six months before it even left. Then came back. Cat. Um... <clears throat> But, here's the Ford is ranked second. Second! Of the highest grossing actors of all time. He is right below Samuel L. Jackson. I think Samuel L. Jackson's just been in more than Harrison. But Harrison Ford, he is just... If he's in a movie, people will just go see it. I don't know. He's just like a, an audience magnet. He's in a movie, people will just whoosh, go right to him. It's just, he's a magnet, I think. I don't know. Was, he's good. He's a good actor. Uh, he, uh, he, I don't know if he's... Has he been nominated for anything? I know he hasn't won anything, I don't think. Anything major. Not Oscar or whatever. But I know he's going to be in, like, the sequel to Blade Runner this year. So if you haven't seen Blade Runner, as in, like, the early 80s Blade Runner, the original, you see that one before you see the new one that comes out later on this year. Or else you may be just totally lost. I don't know. I haven't seen the new one, obviously. It's not out. But I have seen the original. I need to refresh my memory. 
Guess I better get that one and watch it. Anyway, that right there is the every guys. So shall I? Let's uh, recap. Gregory Peck, Henry Fonda, Gary Cooper, Kevin Costner, Tom Hanks, Michael Douglas, Harrison Ford. What am I doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow is my first rant of the month. Don't <laughs> watch it, y'all. I'm going to go go off. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you what it's about. You just have to just just watch tomorrow. But it's a rant, and it's not going to be of any movie reason, any movie related. So it's uh, school related. So I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to watch.